All right, Molly, how are we feeling? Back at the New York City Marathon? We're back, yeah, it's been a long time. Just very excited to be back, yeah, feeling good. Training and everything, everything clicking well? It was clicking okay, like we um, did a little bit less just because I was coming off the injury in the winter and we'll see how that goes. Threw in some cross training, trying to do things a little differently. Um, I feel like I kind of need to at this point in my career, so we'll see how that fares in a marathon and just excited to finish a marathon, it's been a while. What goes into the decision, I guess, like to run the New York City Marathon when like, you know, you look at a lot of like your compatriots and like it was Chicago or Berlin just because you need as much of a window as possible yes. for the trials, but you chose New York. Yeah, well ideally I would have run earlier, I just, I don't think I was ready yet. Um, so we waited and I know it's tough too because New York is not a fast course and I need to run like, I do want to run under the 229.30 that is like the trial, the Olympic standard or whatever, but um, it's New York, I don't know. It's like, I want to stay close to home as well with, with my family and I love this race and like never going to turn down doing New York. So here we are. What feels different, I guess, about preparation for this year's race? Obviously like coming off of the yeah. injury, but just sort of like where you are at this point in, in your career. Yeah, definitely trying to work with my body more um, and just stay kind of like, I just want to be healthy. I want to be feeling good. Um, and this is more or less a stepping stone to the trials just because coming off the injury and also having not run a marathon in a while. So we approached it just a lot more conservatively. Um, but we're probably going to be doing that with marathons anyway. So it'll be interesting to see how this goes and like what we need to dial back on, like more cross training, less cross training, more mileage, less mileage. Like where are we going to end up with this? So. Has the focus like been solely on this, or like were you and Ray kind of like I know so many people work behind, like backwards from Orlando. Yeah. And so for you, I guess mapping out this race going into the next build up, like how, how did you work with that? Yeah, we we kind of worked backwards from Orlando, and I think like probably considered not doing a fall marathon at all, considered going earlier, considered this one, um, and. I mean, Ray knows I love this race. I've run well here twice. He just wants me to come out of it healthy. Um, and at this point in my career, like maybe four years ago, I would have not taken a risk before the trials, but I just don't have a lot of, I've, I've only run, like this will be my seventh marathon, but sixth that I finish, I hope. Um, so I haven't run that many. There's things I want to do in the marathon. I'm not going to be waiting at this point in my career for anything. I'm just going to take the opportunities when I'm healthy and go for it. So that's what we decided. So obviously on social media, there's been a lot of buzz about the noon start time at the marathon. I guess the names were never released of like all the people who signed like the, the letter, but I guess where did you fall kind of in the noon start versus earlier start? Yeah, that's been a big question. <laughs> um, I, I would have liked an earlier start. I was on, there's a lot of names on the letter. It seemed like a majority of the field. Um, it just seems, I mean, I'll do when they, if they say it's noon, I'll do the training, the heat training, I'll be ready for the heat. But it's still unpredictable and it's still like thinking back to LA, like there was some finish line, like scary moments, like people yeah. had to get fluids and passing out and stuff. And so to avoid that would be great. Um, so it seems like a risk to have it at noon. Yeah, it sounded like they were pushing for six or 7 a.m. And even like Emily was like, that's too early. What would be like the sweet spot for you? I would do any of the other 21 hours of the day besides <laughs> noon to three. I'm being flexible. I'm like, you want me to do it at 2 a.m., I'll do it at 2 a.m., but we'll see. <laughs> yeah. So what does success look like for you, I guess, like coming out of this race? Like what would make you happy, I guess, on, on Monday? Um, if I run under 229.30 and uh, cross the finish line, I'll be happy. It would be great to be top American. Um, but we'll just you versus Kellen, right? yeah it's, it's the two moms <laughs> so we'll see who got the most sleep the night before <laughs> basically amazing well I appreciate it Molly uh, thanks so much thanks